Hi, I'm Paris, and I am sleeping much better after using some sleep monitoring devices that have helped me to change some things up to improve my sleep, things that I have reviewed earlier this year. But it's still a challenge when I wake up at 2 a.m., 4 a.m., need to get back to sleep. That's when I don't want to start thinking about other things, so I like to listen to a story. I have an app on my phone that I really like that does old radio programs. They're interesting enough to keep my mind from wandering to other things, but they're not so interesting that they keep me awake. The issue is using regular earbuds, and I'm a side sleeper. Well, there's a company that's taken a different approach to getting those speakers over your ears without putting them into headphones, earbuds, or the pillow. They actually have a headband that you wear, supposedly very comfortable to sleep in, that has the speakers right over your ears, and if you want, you can pull it down and use it as a sleeping mask. It's the Cozy Phones. Epic review. Cozy phones are pretty compact. Included in the package here is a travel case. I was thinking in addition to using this nightly that when you travel, if you're on a plane, this would also be a maybe more comfortable solution than headphones. I picked this up on Amazon for about $15. You can find out more about it at the link down below this video. In the package, travel case with the drawstring and the headband. Now this is not fancy Bluetooth, but it's also very simple. You don't need to worry about Bluetooth connection. It has a plug and hopefully a fairly long cable. It plugs into the audio jack of your phone. Of course, you could also use this with any kind of bedside speaker or on the plane. You can plug it in to listen to the movie or listen to music. I think the cable's gotta be a good four feet. That's nice. The headband is made of a very soft material. I can feel where the speakers are. You can probably see the outline right there of the round speaker shape. And the cable, I guess, you can either have come out over the top or down the bottom towards your neck. The included instruction card walks you through a process of getting the speakers right where you need them over your ears. If your head and ear position does not conform to how this comes, pre-set up. So I guess I'll have the cable go out over the top. Let's see. Okay. The speakers are too high if I have it here. Now, I, I'm, I'd like to use it without having it as an eye cover. So let me see. Okay, that's working. Where are my ears again? Okay, that's actually pretty close to anatomically how I come. I'm curious what it looks like from the back, but I'll let you see. Cable coming up right here. I don't feel it against the back of my head. And at the moment, I don't feel the speakers over my ears, but when I lie down on the pillow, I'll have to see how that feels. Okay. Plug this into the phone and fire up an old radio program. If you have an Android phone, the app is called Old Time Radio Player. They may have it for the iPhone as well. I really like it because you can choose the genre and then the individual show and then pick an episode to listen to. Okay, let's see how it sounds. It's pretty good and clear. It's good. It's good in stereo. I'm so used to just listening in mono because I'm always rolled over one way or the other. It'd be nice to be able to lie in bed, go to sleep, and listen in stereo. What I want to know is how far does the sound carry? Now pressed against my ears, it should block some of it. I hear it. I can't make out what I'm hearing, but I hear that kind of stuff. If you like using a sleep mask, this can double as a sleep mask as well. Let me give this a try. I don't sleep with a sleep mask. So, oh my hair. Okay. That's pretty dark. Maybe the tiniest bit of light here, but that's just because I've got the window with the light coming in and the, the big lights here. So I'm sure in a darkened room, I would see no light whatsoever. Now this is a little bit snug on me, also when I have it over my eyes and like this, it's, it's just that I, I wish it were a little bit looser, but there is no way to adjust that. My hat size is seven and five eighths, so I think this would fit okay most people, but if you know you have a big head, when you go hat shopping, you always gotta look for the larger sizes, this might be a little bit snug. All right, I've got my Philip Marlowe episode playing. It's time to see how this feels lying on my side.
Well, it's more comfortable than I thought it would be. I can, I can feel where the speaker is because I have my arm under the pillow and that's how I sleep. If I slept without the arm under, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't notice it, but I do feel it here. But it's not, it's, it's pretty well cushioned, so it's not bad. It is warm, however. I can already feel my head getting warm. It's summer here. It's probably 85 outside. It's about 76, 77 inside. The winter would be nice for keeping my head warm, but in the summer, I don't want to have it, anything extra heating it up. Well, good morning. I did not sleep the whole night with this on. About 20 minutes or so after I went to bed, it just got too warm. I did mention it's summer here and still very hot out. So maybe in the winter, I wouldn't mind sleeping wearing half a hat, but in the summertime, no, it just makes it too hot. The sound quality was good. It was nice being able to listen to the show in stereo instead of with just one earbud plugged in. And though I could feel the speakers on the side when I laid on that side, it wasn't so uncomfortable that I couldn't sleep that way. What was uncomfortable is that this is just a little too tight. So pressure points across the front and the back of my head after some time. It's, I just wish I had one size larger and I know it'd probably be hard to make this adjustable since it needs to cling on to your head so much to keep those speakers in the correct positions while you're rolling around and tossing and turning during the night. If they would offer it in say three sizes, that would probably take care of the issue. So I think the cozy phones could work for someone with a smaller head, and if you live in a cooler climate, that would help too. They go for about $15, and you can find out more about them at the link down below this video. I'll be back soon with more reviews. You can keep checking back for those, or you can click that subscribe button and the bell next to it. You'll get notified when my videos go up. See you on the next review.